it's already happened. It's and it's already done. And I have no problem with with people disliking me. I didn't go on the internet expecting everybody to like me. I know there's a bunch of people who are going to misunderstand me. I know I'm doing good for the world. I live with a pure heart. I know that I'm a positive influence. I go to sleep with a clear conscience, and that's what matters more to me than a bunch of bullshit and idiots. But yeah, what what Brad was just saying is super important. I think that if you look at any man who's very good at being a man, most of them have had extremely traumatic lives. Yeah. If you're going to talk about the most brave man you can think of, he's been through trauma. If you think of the best soldier you can think of, he's been through trauma. If you think about anything, the, the man who's going to charge into the burning building, the fireman, he's been through trauma. If you find a man who's never had any traumatic experiences, he's a terrible at being a man. Yeah. He's weak and he's soft and he'll collapse and he's never struggled. I know me and I don't want to tell a bunch of stories on, on the internet, but I know all the shit I went through and all the pain I had to suffer to become the man I am. And every time I meet another guy who has his life in order, it's the same story. This fucked me up, but you know, I thought, fuck it. I'm going to attack the world anyway. Yeah. And that's how it goes. So as a man, that's you're good. right. You're right. You have to be vulnerable. You have to feel it. You have to accept it, but you have to put it in a positive direction. This is what's so dangerous about what we were saying earlier, where people make excuses and externalize yeah. because they're taking that trauma and that pain. Instead of going, I fucked up. She left me because I wasn't good enough. I'm going to become better. Instead, she is the problem. Yeah, like we it's saying. there. And then they lose their ability to go and become something. They lose their own motivational force. And then they sit there with a fucking ego and arrogance and go, I don't need to become any better. I can stay a jackass. It's all her fault. I'll find another one. And then it happens on repeat. And it just ends up a downward cycle of dumb yeah. shit.